Hey there game makers and welcome back to another basics video tutorial and today we're going to do something which you see on the screen outlining some text before that well it wasn't too easy to do of course it was possible but now there's a criminally easy way how to achieve that with a few mouse clicks but of course it comes with some caveat it's not uh, foolproof for everything and so on but it does its job quite significantly good and therefore let's just jump right into it this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course so the theory and the practice is kind of really really easy so we got our new effects here and by new it's not that new anymore and then we just have outline here and outline normally just takes the whole draw event and draws on everything and outline of course we don't want that here so let's kill it but let's say hey we want to draw an outline on a text that actually works not just for the regular draw events for your minions or for your sprites or whatever it actually works for the draw event of the text also which is pretty sweet so that actually wants once again kind of an accident from my side so let's say we got an object draw text we just drop that dude in the screen and then um, maybe we want to set a specific font that is of course a good idea to do and then we just I don't know draw some text on the screen that's pretty much it and then it follows the mouse wow see I know uh, <laughs> wow so how can we do this uh, well we just go under tools my bad windows in mr inspector here once again very handy tool and then we just pick uh well before that it's normally on none and then for, for example once we pick it so outline boom we already got an outline uh, attached to it and then well we just make it a little bit bigger 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 and then warp set it to black because normally most outlines are black and that's pretty much the whole thing so once we started that thing works comes with a little caveat so if you just uh, do it out of the box uncheck anti-aliasing so why do i mean that so as you can see now the edges are well a little bit rough to read and rough to look at but if you put that on you got those in between interpolated pixels and then the outline will uh, just take where it's basically where you got empty space and then ugh, it won't be looking good so let's check this out and as you can see, looking kind of rugged, so as you can see, uh, yeah, so should we look at, yeah, we can zoom, and as you can see, looks like, wow, hot garbage, uh, <laughs> therefore, not a good idea to do that on interpolated text, so this is one of the downsides, and second of all, well, once you set it to one standard, if you um, have smaller or bigger text, not working always optimal but of course uh, if you just need it for a little bit or for example i don't know let's go actually to the minions as you can see they got their own outline also then it works just fine or for example if it's a really small font then you won't be seeing the difference anyway and therefore for very small things when you want to just highlight them and so they look a little bit crisper and nicer then uh, everything is pretty good the way it goes so once again that was the cheap man's way how to do outlines for text so once again uh, no interpolation please because then well you got this and then a uh, second of all it's not universal but for most applications this is a pretty good de um, well thing overall in the end already that was it from my side hopefully that was a useful tutorial because i thought like hey that's actually pretty neat so, and I thought like, hey, let's share that with the community. So that was it from my side. Now, really, <laughs> have a good one. One up, Indy.